Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a the Black Series Ultrabyte LED flashlight. Try me! Well, yeah, it's got battery already installed and it puts out 55 lumens. Now what attracted me this the first time I saw it was the shape and the color. This is a wild color as far as flashlights go. You don't see this color very often. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, um, so it was a nice surprise. I was in there looking for a pillow. I found this. Um, and I like the shape, I like the color. It also came in silver, black, red, blue. Shoot, I want to think there might have been one other color, but not positive. And this fuchsia thing, which is just awesome. Um, it has a, a four Phillips head screws holding in a, a, a nice cover, so that's a nice design. And because of the shape, it doesn't roll. Awesome, I like that. Um, got a decently deep reflector doesn't have any major defects in the reflector um, the beam I tried it outside has a decent throw for 55 uh, lumen flashlight um, sufficient flood to illuminate where you're walking and no artifacts in the beam so I don't think you can ask a whole lot more particularly seeing as I paid eight dollars for this and that's the full price which is nice now the thing I like about this the best though this end cap Friend, I left this in here just so I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> but obviously, it shows you that you could use uh, this as a lanyard. And I think you could probably get standard 55 paracord in there, definitely if you took out the, uh, the, the innards. But it's perfectly flat. You can candle it. And because it's inset, it is not going to go off on you when it's in a pocket or a toolbox or a purse or something. This is going to be there when you need it. You do it that way. You can do it that way. This cigar, cigar um, style position. Some people like to do it, you know, hold it like that. Though my fingers, are, thumbs are a little on thick side, so it might work better if your fingers were a little thinner. Um, but I thought this is this would make a great stocking stuffer, folks, or or, or something you want to just pick up for the guy. You don't know what I don't know what to get this guy for a gift. Well, here you go. You can't go bad with an eight dollar flashlight that's got some nice features, good output, and you can get it in some funky colors. Um, I think that's a really nice uh, and, uh, d nice deal. And in the event that you have someone that likes unusual colors, for example, they're into purples and things like that, and they might not ordinarily think of, you might not think of them as a flashlight person, this might be something you can give them. Because, you know, having a flashlight around, even in your dorm room, I think is very important. Because when the power goes out, you need to be able to get yourself out of that building safely. And this might, flashlight might be considered acceptable by some people that might be put off by a black tactical style flashlight. This doesn't look like one of those. All aluminum. It's a good design. It uses two AA batteries. So it's, uh, you know, they're ubiquitous. You can buy them everywhere. You can buy them at some, you know, rinky-dink gas stations. They'll have AA batteries. So you're always going to have access to power. Um, I really like this design. It's been the one that's been sitting on my desk. Um, lately, I just like it. I like the color and stuff. And now I can take this tag off, so it doesn't isn't quite as obnoxious. I just knew if I took the, these little cards off. Oh yeah, this is a little information about uh, battery warnings. If I took those cards off, I would lose them before I did this review. So I left them in place. Um, but yeah, definitely go pick this up. I think it's a really nice flashlight. And I did find this available on Amazon, so it's not exclusive to Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, but it does show you that even if you're in there and you don't normally think of it as a place to buy gadgets, they do in fact have some cool gadgets.